So for those of you that do not know, uh, Sault Ste. Marie is located about 45 minutes north of the Mackinac Bridge. Uh, so Lake State Campus is right at the end of 75 on the Canadian border. Uh, our campus actually overlooks the, uh, the Canadian horizon um, and students can usually enjoy going over there on the International Bridge. Unfortunately, right now that is closed, but under normal year, students do take advantage of going over uh, to another country. Um, so it's pretty easy. It's about you know, a couple miles from campus. Um, being in the UP, um, obviously we have a lot of access to the outdoors and wilderness. Um, so we have what we call the Regional Outdoor Center for students to enjoy the wilderness and our backyard uh, without lugging all that equipment to campus. Uh, so you can rent kayaks, stand up paddle boards, snowshoes, um, fat tire bikes, uh, full camping gear. Um, so you're able to go out and experience the UP um, without having all that stuff with you. I think it's about like $10 to rent a kayak for the for the weekend. So it's pretty cheap and reasonable. Um, we also do a couple of trips every year um, so that you can, you know, maybe explore somewhere different that you didn't know about uh, and meet some other people as well. Um, so Sault Ste. Marie is quite a little tourist town. We have the Sioux Locks in town. Um, so we do get a lot of tourism. Obviously, it's absolutely beautiful up here in the fall, summer in winter time. So we do enjoy our winter sports um, and take great pride in, uh, in having those snow activities as well. Getting into some of our academics. Uh, so Lake State has five different colleges. Um, so we have our criminal justice and emergency responders, which would be like EMTs, paramedics, um, our school of education, health and behavior, which has kinesiology, psychology, sociology, social work, as well as our nursing program. Our innovations and solutions holds our culinary certificate, um, which is a three semester certificate for students to learn about farm to table and sustainable cooking. As well in the summertime, our students can enjoy an internship at the Le Chanel Culinary Restaurant uh, so that they actually get to see front of house and back of house and learn how to be a GM for a restaurant. So not only learning those cooking skills, but also restaurant management skills. Um, our business program, as well as computer science and robotics, um, our robotics and engineering, as well as our engineering tech, which is our associate's degrees. Um, and then lastly, our science in the environment, which is fisheries and wildlife. We have a conservation officer, uh, concentration, um, uh, environmental science, chemistry, forensic chemistry, um, pre-med, pre-vet. So um, we have a lot of different offerings and kind of um, ranging from bachelor degrees, associates, as well as certificates. Um, something that Lake State really excels on is preparing our students to be in the workforce. So whether it's our nursing students that they are in our simulation center on campus, um, we can set up a simulated environment for them. Um, we have mannequins that bleed, they cry, they give birth. Uh, so our students can work on those in a controlled environment with faculty watching outside of the room on a monitor. And then they record it and then can review it afterwards. Um, for our fisheries and wildlife students, we have a fish hatchery. So our students can go out into the St. Mary's River, uh, collect Atlantic salmon, spawn them throughout the year and then tag them and re-release them. Um, so we are really like ground zero for the freshwater health of the Great Lakes. Um, we are establishing a new program called Seafree, which is the Center for Freshwater Research and Education, which again is like ground zero for, um, for freshwater research in the country as well as worldwide. Um, the Great Lakes are about I want to say 70 to 80 percent of fresh water in the United States and about 30 percent of the fresh water in the entire world. Um, so keeping those Great Lakes healthy is really important to us, especially because it's right in our backyard. Um, and, you know, for our engineering students, we have a robotics lab um, that they can program robots. Uh, we have robots that draw, they solve Rubik's cubes, they can um, pick up groceries and a whole bunch of other things that our students are teaching them. Um, for their senior project, they work with industry members that solve or that identify a problem within their company. Uh, and then our seniors 
work with that company to solve that problem and then present um, their solution to them. So it's really great for our students to be able to have a lot of those experiences and being like in the workforce and undergraduate level. Um, so our students are prepared either to go directly into a career or continue on to, uh, to graduate school. Uh, so we have about 2000 students uh, in our population, but 88% of those are from Michigan. Um, and uh, about 50 50 um, male to female. Um, and the majority of our international students do come from Canada, obviously being uh, a border, uh, border school. Um, so getting into our tuition, um, it's 12,456 for the fall 20 uh, school year. Um, and then room and board is 10,742. Um, so again, that's for the fall 20. Um, so it might be a little updated for the fall 21 semester, uh, but we do offer a tuition plateau. So as a full-time student, you would be taking 12 credits, which is usually four classes, unless you have a lab that sometimes those are four or five credits. Um, so meaning you'll be taking 12 hours of class a year or a semester, sorry, 12 hours of class a week, um, but between 12 and 16 credits, it's the same price. So if you want to really load up on those classes and get ahead, or if you want to um, maybe take advantage and take some fun classes for one credit and don't wanna feel guilty about paying for those, um, you know, that's a really great opportunity. So you can do that. Um, you know, some of our rec classes are one credit, like we have ice skating, backpacking, um, canoeing. Um, so it's maybe a fun thing that you can add into your schedule um, and still get credit for it. About 90% of our students do receive financial aid or scholarship. We've been named one of the most affordable universities in Michigan. Uh, and our financial aid office is really great about identifying those areas where we can help save you money and make it more affordable. Um, for our merit scholarships, those are called our Board of Trustees scholarships. And those are based solely on high school GPA. So we are test optional right now. Um, we were test optional previous to COVID and we will plan on being test optional after COVID. Um, so uh, we do not require test scores for scholarship consideration or for admission. Um, so our Board of Trustees Merit Scholarships are just based on high school GPA. And those start at 3.0 and then go up. Um, so those are all listed on our website if you look at um, scholarship under uh, lssu.edu. Uh, we also accept TIP phase one and two. Um, so you can ask your counselor if you qualify for that. Um, but that would be if you're going for an associate's degree, that would be free tuition. And then phase two is uh, moving on to your bachelor's. Um, so I think we're only one of four universities in Michigan that has TIP phase one and two. Um, something great that we have is that those Board of Trustees Merit Scholarships are just added onto your account. So um, you don't have to do anything else, um, no other applications besides applying for Lake State. Um, but we also have a couple of other competitive scholarships for free tuition. So we have the Laker Gold Scholarship Competition as well as the Philip Hart. Uh, and we will be announcing those soon. Um, so stay tuned on those, but they should most likely be occurring in February. And for our students that apply, um, we'll let you know if you qualify for those. So those are coming up soon as of November 2nd. <laughs> And then getting into some of our campus life. So uh, freshmen and sophomores, first two years, you are required to live on campus. Um, so even if you are coming in with enough credits to be a junior, you would still be required to live on campus because it's based on your time out of high school. So if you're more than two years out of high school, it's not required, but within that two years you are. Um, we also have upperclassmen housings. So we have apartments and townhouses on campus. Um, we also have living learning communities, which are standalone homes. Um, uh, Lake State actually used to be a fort um, back in the 1800s. And so these uh, standalone homes used to be the officer barracks. Um, our men's uh, free, our freshman residence hall, um, this photo here, that actually used to be the soldier barracks. Um, 
But for the living learning communities, those are based on either clubs or activities and uh, majors. And since they are standalone homes, they have full kitchen, full laundry room, um, you know, full living room, hangout areas. Um, you can park right behind them. Um, and it's also for freshmen to seniors. So students do get to experience um, some wisdom from other students and get some experience through that. Um, so great opportunity to just meet some other people that you might not necessarily know and to have that uh, relationship with similar interests as well. And to some of our dining options. So for our meal plan, they all cost about the same, um, just depending if you want more meals on your meal plan or more Laker bucks, um, which are more just kind of for grab and go stuff. Um, so the quarter deck is um, our main dining facility. It's like the cafeteria, all you can eat buffet style. Right now they have, um, you know, individually prepared Thing, so you're not um, cross-contaminating with a buffet um, and you are allowed to take that out and to go. Uh, we have a Starbucks as well as like a hangout area where you can get um, grilled food, um, you know, like tacos and quesadillas and burgers and whatnot. Uh, and then on the other side of campus, we have like a deli of just like our cafe um, and just a good hangout spot in between classes too. Obviously we're taking all precautions for extra sanitization around our food preparations um, and just classes in general. Uh, we are in person this semester and plan to be next semester as well. Things are going, um, going very well so far. Um, we started the semester two weeks early so that all of our students would be able to uh, have their finals and be done before Thanksgiving. Um, so a couple more weeks in the semester, uh, and then we're starting up January 19th. Um, so we have a nice long break for students in the middle. Um, getting into some more campus information. Uh, so we have, um, freshmen are allowed to have their car on campus. Uh, it's a $90 parking pass for the year. Um, but it's not really necessary for students to be driving in between classes. Our campus is very walkable. Um, you know, from academic buildings to your residence hall, it's about five, 10 minute walk. Um, and we also have a shuttle that goes downtown so it can take you to any local business um, and then can come pick you up if you give them a call. Um, some of our fun traditions and things that we have going on, um, we just uh, input fire pits around campus. We're really excited about those. As well, every winter we have an ice rink that gets set up so students can go ice skating in the winter time uh, as soon as it gets cold enough. Um, the week before classes start, we have uh, what we call Laker Week. Um, so our students can go on some trips. Um, in the past, they've gone to like Mackinac Island, to Quaminon, um, a few different local places like mini golf and whatnot. Um, and then we have what we call Laker Palooza, which is all of our um, student organizations, athletics, um, community members. Um, and so all of our new incoming students can meet all of those organizations right away, get connected to campus, meet who they need to um, meet and get connected with. Um, there's always a lot of free food and, and all fun stuff going on. Um, being a border town, um, we are a quite safe community. Um, and because we are a little bit on the smaller side, um, you know, we have border patrol here, um, Coast Guard, um, state, local, tribal police, um, as well as our public safety that patrols campus 24 seven. Um, so even if you like get locked out of your dorm or have a flat tire, which I might've taken advantage of a couple times, um, they are available to, uh, to help you out 24-7. Um, so even if you were um, needed to request an escort or something, if you felt uncomfort uncomfortable, they'd be available for that as well. Some of our on-campus fun stuff. Uh, so we are D1 in hockey. Um, our first hockey game is slated for November 21st, so coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, and then we are D2 in basketball, cross country, golf, tennis, track, and then we have women's volleyball. Uh, new this year also, we have our competitive club sports. Um, so we have men's and women's hockey teams. 
And then we're looking forward to creating lacrosse and soccer. I think women's softball as well is coming up. Um, so we're really trying to build out that club sports um, uh, program. So really looking forward to that, getting up and running. Um, and there, one of our most popular intramurals is broom ball. So we do have an ice rink on campus for our hockey team uh, and our students can go out there and play broom ball. So they go out in their sneakers and they you know, kind of play like hockey with this broom. Uh, it's pretty funny to watch. So that's definitely our most popular one on campus. Um, and then with our clubs and organizations, we just have a lot of uh, fun stuff ranging from academics. So like our accounting club, marketing club, um, or the fun stuff like fish and bass club. We have like a Harry Potter club, we have a hammocking club. Um, students just kind of hammock around campus. So a lot of different stuff um, ranging from, you know, professional networking to fun stuff. Uh, but if there is ever something that you'd want to, uh, to become involved with, uh, it just takes five students and a faculty advisor to be able to, um, to get something going. Uh, again, because we are a smaller university, it's usually pretty easy to, um, you know, to get involved and have something going on. Oh, getting into our admissions requirements. So our application is online at lssu.edu. Um, it is free. We do not have an application fee, and we are also accepting the common application. So that is new this year. Um, we do not have any essays on our application, um, so it's pretty pretty simple to fill out. Um, maybe 10, 15 minutes to be able to fill out your application. Um, like I had mentioned, we are test optional, so we are not requiring SAT or ACT scores for admission. Um, as well, we are accepting self-reported GPAs on our application. Um, so if you enter in your GPA, um, we can get a decision to you before we receive your official transcripts. So right now our official transcripts are the only thing that we, re we require, um, but we can provide admissions decision before we have those in hand. Um, our minimum GPA is 2.4. And we also have a conditional admit program for students that fall below the 2.4, but feel ready for college. Um, we set them up with tutors and extra academic support, their academic success center, uh, so that they can feel prepared and ready for college. Um, so that's something that we can work with you on if you're still interested, if you fall below that 2.4 GPA. Um, yeah, so we, um, this year we're just trying to eliminate as many barriers as possible. We know it's been difficult for students uh, with connectivity and just being present. So, um, you know, we're, we're available to help out with anything, um, any needs that students and high schools have. Um, getting into some of our next steps, after you apply, we would just require those official transcripts to come in either through parchment or through the mail. Um, you would need to send in your FAFSA. Um, so that opened up last month. Um, normally we do have a, an enrollment deposit fee which goes towards tuition. Usually that's $100, but we're waiving that this year. Um, so we have a form that you can just fill out and let us know that you'd like to attend. We can save your spot. And then you would just need to apply for housing and then orientation, which will be coming up in June, hopefully. So, um, try to keep it, again, as easy as possible for students. Um, and finally, here's our contact information. Um, so this is uh, my texting number. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text. Or if you just want to send me your contact information, which major you're interested in, um, then I can get you connected to the right people and get you some more information. Um, so feel free to reach out um, you know, via text, phone, or email, and uh, we'll be here. And then some of these photos are just our students out in the field. So our fire, sire, fire science students doing a controlled burn. Um, the second photo is of our fish hatchery. Um, and then this last one is a student in a clinical. Um, so again, we're, we're very excited to have um, our upcoming class for fall 21. We're starting to get some applications in. Um, we are holding on-campus in-person tours. 
Um, so if you are available, we um, have them Monday through Friday on campus at 11.30 and 1.30. Um, might be kind of late. The next two Saturdays, we also have campus tours. Um, they might be all full by now. Um, you'd have to check on our website, but hopefully in the spring when it gets warm again, we'll start up those Saturday, Saturday tours again. Um, but for right now, we're doing them Monday through Friday. And again, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. We're looking forward to hearing from you.